If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. Lists in Sage 50 Accounting let you view the records entered into many of the Maintain and Task windows. The Maintain windows, which you can access from the Maintain command in the menu bar, are windows that let you add, edit, and delete data records used by the program. The Task windows, which you can access from the Tasks command in the menu bar, let you perform different tasks in Sage 50, and they also often use data from the Maintain windows. After adding, editing, and deleting accounts in the Maintain Chart of Accounts window, for example, you can click the List button in this Windows toolbar to open the Account List. The Account List window shows the accounts created in the Maintain Chart of Accounts window in a list format. As you add records and perform tasks in Sage 50, the resulting items like customers, accounts, and more are saved into lists. To access a list from its associated Maintain or Task window, click the List button in the Windows toolbar. Alternatively, click the Lists command in the menu bar, roll over the General List category, and then select a list from the side menu of choices that appears. To open a list item in a list window within its associated Maintain or Task window, double-click the list item or click the list item to select it, and then click the Open button in the toolbar at the top of the list window. To instead create new items within the related Maintain or Task window, click the New button in the List Windows toolbar. If available, to open a copy of a selected list item for editing in its related task window if using a list for a task window, select a list item and then click the copy button in the lists toolbar. To refresh a list window, click the refresh button to see its most recent changes. To print a list, click the Print button in the toolbar of the list window to open the Print dialog box on your computer. Here you can then set your printer settings, choose the number of copies to print, and then print the list. To send a list to Excel, to your default email program, or to save it as a PDF, click the Send To drop-down button in the toolbar of the list window and then select either the Excel, Email, or PDF button, respectively. To change the columns shown in a list, click the Settings button in the List Windows toolbar to open a Settings dialog box. To add columns to the list, click a column in the Available Columns list, and then click the Add button to add it to the Selected Columns list. To remove a column, Select it from the Selected Columns list, and then click the Remove button. To change the order of the columns, select a column from the Selected Columns list, and then click either the Move Up or Move Down buttons until the column is in the desired place. To reset a list's columns, click the Reset Defaults button. To save the changes to the list's columns when you are done, click the OK button. Alternatively, to cancel the changes, click the Cancel button. You can sort the data in the lists by the values within its columns. To sort by a list column's values, click its gray column heading to perform an ascending sort, meaning sorting A to Z or 1 to 9. An upward pointing arrow in the column's heading shows the type of sort applied. To sort in descending order, meaning Z to A or 9 to 1, Click the same column heading again. The arrow in the column's heading then points downward to show the descending sort order. 
You can also filter and find list items by using the filtering and searching options in the area just below the toolbar in the list window. To show transactions by date in lists for many of the task windows, select a choice from the Date Range dropdown. To show list items in all lists that match a criteria you specify, type a criteria for which to search into the Search For field. Then use the adjacent In dropdown to select the list field within which to search. Then click the search button to show matching results in the list. To then show all the list items again, click the clear search button. At the left side of the window, you will see tasks and reports for the list items as a list of links you can click. To perform any task, select a related list item if necessary, and then click the related link under the tasks section. To run a report, just click the report link under the reports section. You can also click the large button below these lists to open the related Sage 50 Navigation Center if needed. To close a list window when finished using it, click the close button in the list windows toolbar. Alternatively, click the X button in the windows upper right corner to close it. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.